Now, next up, we have Jack Shanahan going up against Diogo Correa from Portugal. Shanahan going in here as the favorite, and he is coming off a couple of podiums across Europe this year. Also, driving the best he's ever driven, I think, in his career at the moment. And Diogo Correa, well, what a name he would make for himself if he could take down Shanahan here. Yeah, Diogo, at the moment, nothing to lose, lose Dave. He's, he's come into this competition last season, showed his hand, came back for the complete season this year, and... Uh, right now stacks himself up against some of the best of the best and Diogo Correa really to me been driving on form all weekend making a few silly mistakes here there but nevertheless he is fast he has got a very capable car and they're off the line ready to rock and roll Shanahan to lead them in as Diogo Correa looks for the back end of the 86 not a lot of separation in it as Diogo Correa looks down down the side for the 86 they both come absolutely flying through that front clipping point Diogo Correa gives Shanahan the room to maneuver that was the wrong move that opened the door for Shanahan to start to pull away as Shanahan transitions now into the second hairpin. Diogo Correa shortcuts the circuit, looking for another opportunity to jump up into the door. Shanahan firing some smoke up into the face of the Portuguese driver. Diogo Correa is going to make a big dive on this next part of the circuit. It certainly does, but can't pull it off as he finds himself in the middle of the track. Threw everything at that, Diogo, and do you know what? He's still in the fight. Yeah. Definitely put a score on the board, but hard to match that consistency from Shanahan. He went very aggressive from the off, look right in on the back bumper of Shanahan's car, you know, dials out a bit of the angle to build up the speed. But just as you said, as he came to outer zone three, just made the wrong decision, could have stayed wide here, went shallow, and he had to stay on the handbrake and lock up. And that allowed Shanahan to take the wider line, which is actually the more, I suppose, natural racing line through there. So he picked up so much more speed coming out of that first hairpin that, you know, then Correa's cutting the track. He's trying to catch up a little bit. Doesn't do a bad job. Maybe runs the wheel here and there off the track, but he's still in the fight. It's not a, not a walkover by any means. And Correa now has an opportunity in the lead position to, you know, put on the smoke show, try and hopefully force an error from Shanahan. Uh, which is generally unlikely, but at the same time, anything can happen. As J Shanahan was saying uh, in the pits to us earlier on, his car is right on the edge of working. It's s running so hot. Wow. So it's running very hot. He said the tires are really, really hot. And uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah, you and never yeah, know. Yeah, look, look at the crowd. Yeah. I'm hot, Dave. <laughs> that that lady else. is fanning herself, and she's not in a three-layer race suit with a balaclava and a helmet exactly. inside a car that's exactly. about 150 degrees. She doesn't degrees. know about heat at the moment. No. <laughs> she is relatively cold Quite. compared to Jack Shannon and Diego, Diogo Correa now in their cars. So it is a war of attrition here to try and stay, you know, stay concentration levels, keep yourself, uh, you know, as motivated as possible. Shannon coming forward here. Looks like he's going very aggressive off the start line. Yeah, Diogo Correa smoking the tire straight away, and Jack Shanahan gets lost in a cloud of smoke as Correa throws up the smoke screen. Absolutely incredible show as Shanahan positions his car on the inside of the circuit so he can see the door of that BMW E92 as Shanahan plays with danger. Dancing down the side of that BMW of the Portuguese driver now. They look for the transition. Shanahan perfectly timed as he looks to make another dive. Correa goes wide, opens the door even more for Shanahan to get up close and personal and Diego Correa right now making all the wrong moves, giving away precious parts of the circuit and the door to Shanahan as he tries Transitions once again. Shanahan looks for the dive, works the 86 up onto the side of the BMW. Yeah, excellent run from Shanahan. And as you said, Correa actually made it easier for Shanahan, running wide, letting him back into the battle. You know, for, through the first corner, I am convinced that Jack Shanahan did not, could not see where he <laughs> was going. I, just, I love this angle here because watch Correa's rear wheels and watch where Shanahan is here. How is he seeing there? What's going on whatsoever? I think he's just keeping the foot to the floor and driving through it. Towards the end of the corner though, he's still there. You can see Shannon just running a little bit up onto the curbs, a little bit less angle just to make himself as fast as possible. And then this is where, you know, Correa starts missing some zones. But I think this is the real moment. When he transitions back, look how wide Correa goes, washes off and Shannon's like, I've got you now. I'm on a shorter inside line and from there on in he's really able to push the issue get up onto the door be as close as possible and proximity on this track is very difficult it's very challenging and when you get it you're really rewarded by the judges yeah you certainly are and it's a big lump of rubber dave just stuck on the gopro of the uh yeah. camera there as you can see look at the look at the drone in the background caught in the phantom shot look at that incredible it's amazing we can see these shots nowadays just, where, you know, just years magic. ago this would have been, you'd be, uh, you know, your imagination couldn't imagine that you'd have telemetry and drones and onboard see everything, but here we are. Our imagination could believe that Jack Shanahan would go through to the top eight and Diogo Correa. You know what? A solid showing from him. I think he's going to come back tomorrow for round two even stronger. He's yeah. now got a belief. He definitely looked like he wasn't a fish out, or he was a fish out of, wasn't the fish out of water, rather. <laughs> um, there's no, there's no fish around here because it's there's too no hot. Fish. All the lakes Miles have evaporated at this stage. Uh, so Diogo Correa did a very, very good uh, job of staying in the fight. 
Yeah, but, he did. You know, he he's did. got a lot less experience than Shanahan, and he's still working out some gremlins in his car. And, no, it's only, we've only begun to see uh, his career flourish, so 